Hello, Anteater fans. Michael O'Sullivan sitting down with Mark Hunt, head coach of the UC Irvine men's water polo team as we're all out another schedule release special and the water polo season right around the corner. Coach, September, things will get going and we'll delve right into it. The non-conference slate, uh, you got a couple big tournaments in that first month with the Triton Invitational, Inland Empire Classic. The only head-to-head -head matchup will be in Riverside against Cal Baptist, but the end of the month, that NorCal tournament up at Stanford in Palo Alto, I know that's one that, that you expect a lot from your team, and there's going to be a lot of talent at that tournament. Absolutely. And, and what we're, we're really ramping into, um, you know, a tough month. We go down to San Diego immediately and get tested by USC and UCLA. Right. Um, we're going to go out to Indian Empire for one day uh, and play a couple Skyac teams, and then uh, we really aim towards uh, that NorCal tournament up at Stanford. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at really seeing where we're at with, the, with our conference opponents. We've had, uh, we returned four of our top five leading scorers and our top three leading scorers. We return our three top defenders. Um, what we really are doing is we're looking at the bulk of our, our, our output last year was between freshmen and sophomores. And so we're really excited to give them a year to really build, to find the chemistry and, and to work together to bring a, a slightly more experienced team uh, to the table this year. I know your expectations are high and you know that team of yours will be tested in September and then you get a little break after that NorCal tournament then you come back here for a couple of games UC San Diego and Long Beach State on October 3rd that's a Saturday before that SoCal tournament. Right and then we, we really jump into it straight away yeah. uh, and I think that first month will give us the time to, to really hone some of that chemistry um, and, and that's what we expect and I, I think that uh, you know you're going to get tested and, and you've got to be able to perform. And we're, we're excited about some of, the, some of the incoming new guys that we're bringing in. They're going to have immediate help. Um, you know, we're bringing in Antoine Lina, a DBC transfer who's got some experience with the French national team. Um, younger brother of Kyle Trush on our team, Jack Trush from uh, Corona Del Mar High School, right. will come in. They'll have immediate impact. And then you look at the rest of the month of October. Again, that SoCal tournament, cream of the crop. You're talking about these players returning. You know, you're testing them immediately. November, you guys are going to stay local. A lot of games here at home. You do travel to L.A. to take on SC on the road. But that's when MPSF play really finds a rhythm. And I know before we sat down, you were talking about how this is the most competitive conference in the country year in and year out. Right. You know, this is where I, I believe we've got five seniors that I think are really providing good leadership to the team. Yeah. And, but we still need to see good performance out of returning All-Americans, Lovery Milos, Matt Skinner. Uh, I'm also expecting Kyle Trush, Jared Osborne, we've got uh, Pablo um, Carballo just came back from playing at Pan American Games in Mexico over the summertime. And we've got a lot of guys that are, that, that are bringing a lot of positive uh, and, and really uh, upbeat play to the table. And, and to get into that conference season and right. to get into that tail end of that season, we've got to be playing our best water polo. And so I like who we've got on paper and, and right now we've got to really put it together, build the chemistry as the season goes through and, and we'll see where we end up. Yeah, you've talked about that talent that you have returning, the chemistry coming together. How do you manage these expectations, though? Because I know, you know, that that's a challenge too for a coach. You know, well, I, I think you've got to meet the challenge head on. Yeah. I, you know, and we're confident with who we have. Right. You know, it, and it feels as a coach when you're able to return a team that, that really gained a lot of experience last year. You know, we had uh, five one-goal game losses last year. Right. You know, we're a 20-win season team uh, without that. And and what you do is you learn from that. And, and, and the learning that goes on, it gets applied to the next year, and that's where you see, you know, that's where you, you, you really reap the benefit of that moment. And so that's what I'm looking forward to this year, is really just pounding through it. Head coach Mark Hunt going into his 11th season here as head coach of the UC Irvine men's water polo team. It'll all get going in September. A lot of home games this year. Hope to get out and see you fans here at the Aquatic Complex. Coach, thanks so much and good luck this season. Thanks, Michael. See you next time, Anteater fans.